I'm doing this video for a competition for Mega Timho. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, be sure to do so. Um, and his competition is basically go over your painting space. So here we have what I'm working on. Um, it's just a cutting mat with current projects. We have the basic steps. We have some prime models, some models in progress. We have some finished, just need to be based models. Um, so this is basically just on my kitchen table. Just put it out. Um, and then when I'm done, I can just go back on the shelf. Um, I live in a little apartment, so I can't have an entire room dedicated. Then I have this corner shelf, which is being dedicated to it. Um, up here we have current projects, doing a finishing up basing tutorial, doing uh, just some touch-ups on these before they go on. Some models there that are being converted. Broodlord just needs to get some stuff added. Um, these books are just out and about. Um, no rhyme or reason. A little peek there. Some old books. Really good condition too. Um, then we have just projects. Um, anything that I want to work on, if I feel like switching it up, just to, so I'm not doing the same project for a long period of time. Got my Stompa, some Tyranids in the back, Flyer, my Grotz almost done, my Chaos Sorcerer, some other models. Then next level, we have paint, a little rule book in case I want to look up a rule or something. Some paint divided into washes, bases, and layers. Brushes. Then down here is going to be uh, basically like terrain stuff I'm working on. It just needs batch base coating and stuff. And then if we go up and over. I have a shelf with some painted models. Just so that if people come over they can kind of see what I do. Um, and the other part of the video is to give a helpful tip. Um, so the only tip I can really think of is right there, the very bottom, is a first aid kit. Um, this is not expensive, it's like $15 Canadian. Um, it's not super, super high grade, it's not going to save you if you cut your leg off or something, but if you get a cut on your hand, Kind of see this one here. Oh, get the light. That is a scar from cutting Warhammer models. And there's a scar there from cutting Warhammer models. Um, and I did not have a first aid kit around. So I was basically home alone. This was back when I was in high school. Uh, living out in the country. No one around. And, you know, you're bleeding everywhere. It can get kind of scary. I'm um, just having a little first aid kit to wrap it up, bandage it, and go from there. Really handy. Um, regardless of whether you have an entire room, an entire building, or just a little workspace, definitely recommend a first aid kit. Um, and if you're in an apartment or a house, you should probably have something like that anyway. Whoa, almost fell over. Um, so yeah, just a little project here. It can go back on the shelf right there. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed.